So y'all should be calling me the queen of last minute because I made this costume the day of Halloween. So for Halloween, I made this costume, which is Korra from Tron Legacy. Well, obviously it's not exact. It's more like the slutty version of Korra from Tron Legacy. That is the costume that I'm going to be showing you guys how to make right now. So I ordered everything prior to Halloween. Obviously that way they would come in on time. I still waited until Halloween listen i was stressing i luckily tested out the lights the night before you yeah, know the night before bit now obviously this is not an exact replica of Cora from tron by no means this is a cosplay but you could do that if you wanted to now if you wanted to do it exactly like me just keep watching and i'll show you guys exactly what i did okay so i will be having everything linked down below to make it easier for you guys to find these items if you did want to exchange or like swap out some things you totally can like this is very customizable the main thing you will be needing probably is the Cora torso set there is a Flynn version and like multiple versions um just click the link in my bio and it'll take you to their website and they have like a bunch of different stuff like it's really cool but yeah so now i'm gonna tell you guys the items that i use which were a black bodysuit thigh high boots a cora torso set a separate light from a different company this black purse and some black tights originally i wanted to buy a tron disc but then i saw like the really nice ones were really expensive and i didn't have time to make my own especially since like the videos that i was watching were like really advanced at least the ones that i wanted to do not the like cheaper ones and then i also was like well like it'd be nice if like you know the tron disc was like a clutch you know what i mean so i can like put stuff in it and then i was like oh but i don't want to be carrying a clutch around all day so then that's when i got the idea of getting just like a circle purse and then sticking on like one of the tron disc lights onto it and then just having it by my hip so therefore it's like my disc i feel like it's not making any sense what i'm saying but basically the purse is the disc without you having to hold it you know Okay, so I started off by limb rolling everything before gluing any lights onto them because having a cat and a dog just means you literally have fur on everything. So yeah, that's the first thing I did. And then I went ahead and um, put in the battery pack on the back of the purse, which came in handy because I didn't even know there was like a little pocket on the back of the purse and it like fit the battery pa pack perfectly. I then went ahead and like stuffed a bunch of stock stocks bitch socks into the purse and quickly realized that that was not gonna work out i thought it would help me like level out the bag to glue it but it just made it worse it made it like super lumpy and made no sense so i then went ahead and like glued on the light which this glue low-key kind of sucks like it took a minute for this stuff to glue honestly it would unstick every now and then yeah so i don't really recommend this glue for the purse but it works for the costume itself so that's that's what really matters once again i had to lint roll my costume because you know you don't want anything to be stuck underneath the lights once you glue it which is why i'm lint rolling everything before gluing on the lights but yeah so i started off with the back mostly because there's only one light that i have to attach and i just went ahead and put like super glue onto the back of this light which this worked out really well um with the costume i think the material just like works a lot better than the purse but yeah like this instantly like gets stuck which could be bad but um just don't fuck up i don't recommend gluing before cutting in the little slit to stick the wires in because obviously you don't want the wires to show but yeah so if you're gonna do this cut a slit before sticking in the lights so you know where you're gonna stick the wire in like it makes it so much easier but i went ahead and glued on the front two lights i think and then that's when i decided okay this is not gonna work out i also went ahead and laid out the lights how i wanted them to look before gluing anything anywhere and here i am just like cutting the slit where um the light's supposed to go but the light the wire but yeah as you can see i struggled and I fucked up because I cut the slit too low so the little white part is showing so I had to cut another slit above it and yeah it was just like really ugly but you couldn't really see that because it's in the back and it's dark so that's fine I went ahead and did that for the other two lights that I had already glued in the front and then after that I learned my lesson and was like okay gotta cut the slit 
and then glue it. But yeah, I'm like, learn from my mistakes. I'm like, okay, hi. So I took a little bit of a break because I had to go buy tights for this outfit. And y'all, the amount of fucking tights that I got. So originally I had intended on wearing fishnets with it, but then I tried it on and it looked really stupid. So I was like, mm, no thanks. And then I was like, oh, I'll just get like some sheer tights, some like black sheer tights. Look how many I feel like I'm at. But you see, the problem is that like all of these tights for some reason have this stupid little, these like shorts. Um, these like panty liners and I'm like I can't wear that because it's a bodysuit So it's gonna show and it looks like I'm wearing like shorts I don't know. It looks bad. I tried them on and I was like what the fuck then I went to the store right now and I got these um, But these also have the little fucking shorts So then finally finally I went to spirit and I got these they're also fishnets, but these are more like tighter they're like micro fishnets if you will and so they kind of look like sheer tights from far away. I feel like these will look a lot better than the fishnets. That was my little my little spiel for now. Okay, let's let's get back into this because I need to finish this like right now. Uh, once again, you're just gonna do the exact same thing that I've been doing for the past few lights, which is cut a slit, stick the wire through it, and then glue on the light. This one is a little bit different just because this one like wraps around your waist. So I had to like um, move the suit to make it all flat and then glue on the light. Also, if you fuck up and some of the white's showing, I use a Sharpie to hide it. And yeah, here I am just showing you guys that I have to flip it and I made it flat and then I glued on the light. These wires are pretty cool um, because you have to like pinch them in order for them to connect. And that way, like when you pull, they won't detach, which at first I didn't know that they did that. And so I thought like I was putting them together and they were just coming off easily, but it's only because you have to pinch them to like put them together. But yeah, I pretty much just did that with all of the wires that were sticking out. And then you just attach them to this giant freaking battery pack, which I will get to that. But anywho, I think it's really cool how on the actual like packaging of the kit that you get, it like shows you where everything goes and at first when i saw this i was like oh hell no this is gonna be so complicated i was literally like where's like the freaking instruction manual this is it this is it it's really not hard at all like it literally tells you exactly where everything goes and then it even has like like little descriptions of what each wire is like it just looks a lot harder than it is i don't know why i was like so stressed about it also you use about like eight batteries for this whole suit and the purse i think it's like another two so yeah a lot of batteries um are needed for this costume the pictures that i took with this costume did not do this costume justice also um throughout the night i noticed that there was i think it was like the skinnier light was flickering so much and then at one point like it just completely turned off and so i had to like adjust it and move it for it to stay on not sure why like maybe i glued it wrong or maybe it was just like having issues i was a fire hazard that night <laughs> just no but for real like at one point i just turned the whole thing off because i was like yeah no it started to smell like smoke in my costume and that's not good i would still totally wear this costume like regardless if i catch on fire worth it are you kidding me I'm trying to find the best way to show you guys, but oh, I am so proud of myself. What the, look, look at this. Literally have no idea how to fuck to show y'all. Let's just like tilt you down a bit. I'm like, okay, so this is what it looks like. I should cover my booty, hold up. <laughs> so this is what it looks like, you know, turned off. Let me get the purse, hold up. Here's the bag. I'm gonna turn it on for you guys now. This shit is insane. <laughs> My god. <sighs> this is so crazy. Hey. Okay, um, can we like turn these lights back on? So the shades of blue are a bit different and the lights on the costume are a little bit brighter than the purse, but go sick. I feel like I'm not doing this outfit justice, but like we in a bit of a time crunch right now, but like, oh, this is so cool. Um, my makeup is inspired by Cora. I added a little bit of blue. You can barely see it. She has like black um, liner all over her eye, but I decided to do just like a smoky eye and then like blended it on the bottom and I'm wearing gray contacts. I did not do the hair like hers because like, I know I don't look good as your hair. 
my room is a mess but that's not what we're here for anyway so you can kind of see like the wires underneath um it doesn't really bother me though i don't care because like the main focus is the lights me the main focus bitch anyway here's the battery pack you can kind of see it so what I did is I had my mom sew the battery pack onto a tank top. So she basically made a little pocket onto a tank top shirt and then I'm wearing the tank top underneath because I was already sweating in this and I didn't want to get the wires all wet. So yeah, I'm going to turn these off now. I was surprised with the amount of times I put this thing on and took it off. Well, I put this thing on twice, took it off once and I really thought these were going to like fall off. Like it was a struggle putting this on. Like I was terrified. So just like some tips, um, just go for it. Literally go for it. Because I feel like the more I hesitated and waited to like put this thing on, like I was going too slow. Like nah, just go for it. And like if any parts unstick, you could just like re-glue them on like once you have it on you. Here it is again for you guys. Oh my god. You can literally hear it beeping. Um, I'm already sweating, but that's only because putting it on is a struggle but yeah there's the battery girl blur that there's the battery pack um it's underneath the bodysuit and it's sewed onto the tank top shirt like i said i'm like super proud of this hope you guys enjoyed oh this like keeps fucking flickering by the way like if i move it a certain way it'll flicker but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed and yeah Ooh.